Hi guys, it's Eos and Celine, and this is the Day Night Podcast. And today we're coming to you from the great outdoors. So if you happen to hear some people talking in the background or the sound of leaves rustling, that's why. That's right. So today's episode is all about hot takes, red flags, and aches. What's your biggest ache? Honestly, I think this was a recent one. Uh, it's people that cannot pose. On <laughs> you know how the typical guys pose where they have their hands just down holding it and yeah. then looking up? I think that's the most iffiest picture pose yeah. I've ever seen in my life. You cannot pose like that. That's a big ache for yeah. me. To be honest, I'm not a good poser, mm. but the best pose I always go to is, you know, the typical, like, cheese, and then you have, like, a, a peace sign. sign. Yeah. Um, and I think that's cute. Yeah. If I see people are bad at posing, but, like, they have a smile on their face, I'm yeah, okay, with, okay it. with it. Yeah, But, like, the Andrew Tate sign, looking up, trying to look cool. I think it's just funny. <laughs> but everyone to their own, you know, I'm just, it's, it's an opinion. I can't, I can't, it's just not my thing. Is it ick enough to be a red flag? See, I think it can change. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not, it's not, to me, a red flag is just like, it's just you. That's, yeah. you know? So for me, I think a pose, it's really not that deep. So it's, it's just an ache. It's not a red flag. Mm-hmm. How about you? An ache. Oh my gosh. I have no idea. I don't think much about these things. Uh, I mean, this is, okay. I have a red flag, not an ache. A red flag for me is for example we're we're talking Mm -hmm. we're talking and i'm really excited about something Mm -hmm. and i'm 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 happy to tell you and then that person comes up to me and tells me why are you so happy that's the biggest red flag Uh, yeah it's just like telling me why are you so happy why are you so excited about something because to me that says you're annoying and you don't like fun Mm. And it really, it can, it can lay on someone like, oh my gosh, am I annoying? Am I annoying because I'm unhappy and too excited? Am I too loud? Like, no, if someone's happy to me, just let them be happy. There are situations, sure, but most of what the situation I'm talking about is just mm-hmm. like someone being annoying because they don't like happiness, I guess. I also just remembered something. Um, just, it's more of in a person is when they brag about, being able to do so many things and knowing so much but then when it comes to actually speaking about it yeah they know nothing and then they start insulting other people instead of actually you know learning learning and thinking about and actually realizing gosh i don't know much and understand for some it's an insecurity but i feel like we're all here to learn yeah and i feel like you set yourself up by already bragging saying oh i already know this i can do this i can do that The thing, though, is um, it's something that smart people always say is like, you know, you're intelligent and you know, you're smart when you know that you know nothing, (laughs) when you know that you have no idea about whatever happened in the world and you have no idea how the universe works. That's when you know that you've reached intelligence. I don't like that saying. Really? You know, another saying, that saying and the saying of A students become employees, C students become like you know bosses or whatever and then these students become like ceos and i'm like that does it doesn't work like that i think everyone is intelligent in their own ways first of all and then just putting people in just specific categories and saying oh i don't know anything i'm smart it's it's like no 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 no. i don't mean it like that like for example when you're take astrophysicists or Mm -hmm. something right pretty intelligent people yeah pretty intelligent people but they know that they know nothing about the universe we don't know how anything works Mm. we try to learn about that but like we don't have that information it's not like oh i'm stupid so i'm smart no Mm -hmm. it's like we don't know anything about the world there's another saying that goes if the world was a universe we would know a toenail of that of the all of Mm -hmm. the information of the universe Mm -hmm. we know nothing that's what i mean by that not like if you're stupid, you're actually smart. No. Yeah, yeah. My way is mostly like a student way of thinking. Oh, you know okay, what I'm saying? Okay, yeah. That's why I use the A student becomes this, the B because yeah. I'm, I'm not sure if people still do that, but enough students do that to make themselves either feel better because maybe they are not performing very well at school. But then, yeah, just student way of thinking is like, oh, 
I am I don't know anything well I'm smart yeah it's, it's not that simple it's like you explained with the astrophysicist that yeah it's it's more complicated than the saying itself anywho next ick well I think it's a red flag someone that is just rude I think let me explain if I if I don't know something and I ask you, yeah. you're like, oh, okay, let me explain it to you with no judgment whatsoever. You're like, yeah. okay, it's whatever. If you don't know anything and you ask me, I'm like, with no judgment, I'll just tell you, you know? Or like translations sometimes, if you know something, you tell me. If I know something, I'll tell you. I yeah. just like, no judgment. But I've seen multiple times where they were, there were other just kids our age that asked someone a certain question. They were like, you are so stupid. Or, oh my God, like, how do you not know that? I'm like, yeah. why do you have to make such a big deal? That's very rude and impolite the person even has the courage to come to you to ask you what this is yeah or what it means it could be basic knowledge to you but maybe not to them yeah i i am that i was that kid mm -hmm. and maybe still am that kid a little bit i'm mm -hmm. trying to change it i don't do the like oh my god you're so stupid for not knowing this um i do for example someone read a book or i know a book mm -hmm. for example 1984 yeah if someone doesn't know what the book 1984 is it's like whoa really mm -hmm. um like you don't know the book but at the same time i have to understand some people don't come from the same social backgrounds and they don't have that information or, or generally like it's a very old book yeah it makes sense if people don't know what it is mm -hmm. and for me to assume that just like everyone knows about it is also it's yeah yeah but i think it's the way you say it's the tone yeah the way he says like oh you don't know it's like it's a happy tone it's like oh i'm surprised you don't know but it's like oh you don't know 1984 okay you know what i'm saying it's it's very much the tone and it makes the p person feel bad as well yes. and it's like i understand that you are shocked but the way you did it was just so uncalled for and i think that is the reddest flag in a person and i don't tolerate people like that i think it just if you want to be a good person i think that's the first thing you should reflect on are you able to respond properly to people yeah. without coming off as being rude just generally like mm -hmm. be nice <laughs> yeah be nice i have another one if you can't see the one right <laughs> you now just... having patience i think uh... patience is a gift yeah. yeah but you can learn to have patience patience just doesn't come like that you know it comes over time i think people that aren't patience with some people is just again i understand not everyone yeah. is by nature patient but you need to understand not everyone picks up on things quickly yeah. the way you do or just people need extra time or different ways to get to their goal and you rushing them and and also again getting frustrated with them is not the solution you need to approach sometimes people with peace yeah you know in order for them to also understand where you are coming from and you understand where they're coming from where you lie i wouldn't call that a red flag though to me uh patience it comes from to me, a red flag is something more that, like, the person has developed mm -hmm. a red flag. Patience is something that comes from a, basic, like, a child. Children don't have patience. Mm. Or, like, some children do because they're a bit more mature or whatever. But most children ha are not patient. And it's something you have to learn through life. Yeah. Some adults never learn it, which is really sad. Um, some children learn it very young, which, honestly, who knows if it's sad or not. Mm -hmm. But to me, patience isn't a red flag. It's just something I have to grow out of. It's a phase. No, sorry. Grow into. Yes. <laughs> Not mm -hmm. Grow into. Yeah. But if you see as like patience, as in like, you're doing a group project, okay? And I'm not saying you have to be ultra patient. Just take a bit, you know? Have time. Remember your group project, okay? Picture group yeah. project. You are a mix of people. You're not with your friends. So you don't know how these people work. You need to be patient to actually be able to figure out how everyone works, who gets what task, who works with what better, what subject properly. Yeah. And you actually need to have patience to get to your finished product. Yeah. Product. You can't just blow up on someone saying like, you didn't do this, da -da 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 -da, when it was just day one and you did an introduction. You need to yeah. have patience and be like, okay, we're going to do this. I see where you're coming from. Da, 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 da. Like it's working yeah. together and having the patience to actually get to a goal. Yeah. That's, that's my way of patience. And I think it's a red flag to blow up immediately onto someone. To blow up immediately, absolutely. Yeah. It's like you need to have that patience before yeah. coming to and, and, and try again, understanding where people come from. That's my way of thinking of, yeah. of a red flag swiping. I thought of another red flag mm -hmm. uh, revolving music, if you listen to our music episode last time. 
um, people who are like stuck up about the music they listen to. Mm. To me, that's an ick and a red flag. It's both mm. because depending on levels and whatnot. Again, I used to be that person. Thankfully, I grew out of that. But um, it's just people who say, "Oh my gosh, you don't know who Nirvana is," or "Oh, I don't listen to." the mainstream stuff i only listen to underground bands like billy eilish or some shit (laughs) people like that it's just they give me such an ick um because like literally there's people that say oh you like nirvana well i don't like their most mainstream album i actually like the other album um even even like kurt cobain didn't like that album they're saying they're saying things that like make them sound more cool and trendy or whatever mm-hmm. or less less of a sellout more edgy whatever i think that's stupid it is it's sad yeah because i feel like it makes also again the person that does make me listen to nirvana feel like oh no i don't know much about them like really did Kurt Cobain not like that album it's like yeah was she friends with Kirk or he friends with Kirk? I mean, how does she know or he know that? If, like, he, he, if he put that album out, he probably liked it. Mm-hmm. Let's be real. Um, and yeah, it's just, it's so annoying. And it's, I think most of the things we're talking about is just trying to be, look cool. Mm-hmm. It's just to trying to look cool is a huge red flag. That is and a huge big red flag. And I find that sad too, because I think people that, are, that think they are cooler than you know, everyone else, you are not living life. I can tell you this one. The amount of times where I've been around certain people that think they're cooler than everyone else's situation and then there's like something happening and everyone should join in, like for example, dancing, they think they're too cool to dance. And I'm like, come on, just stand up. Who cares if you're gonna like bust the most weirdest move ever? Just go, just do it. No one cares. Yeah, this is, I've had friends who do that, right? And it's just like, you're out of, you're, at a disco or something and you want to dance it's like no i don't want to dance that's awkward that's embarrassing it's like just go just go just what is the problem you're probably never gonna see most of these people again that's if you're at like always somewhere say. else exactly and I-, I think being too cool is just you're selling yourself out i think like yeah it's you're holding yourself back from so much more and again there'll be some people that like you there are others that won't everyone to their own but i think being too cool is just sad another thing that i've heard this is more of an ick Mm -hmm. but for example i was talking with one of my siblings and we were at this this fun fair thing Mm -hmm. and there was one activity that was for free and i was like oh my gosh we should go do that because it's free and you can win a prize if you win or whatever um and then my sibling was like no that's not my type of thing you can go do that the activity was literally like throwing something (laughs) what do you mean that's not like that's so stupid and that was genuinely just because they wanted to look cool Mm. because they did not because they didn't it's uncool to do this at a fun fair like what Mm. if you're gonna have fun and what if you win you could win a prize (laughs) it's like what harm does it do to try (laughs) this is this is it man this this is sad but again, everyone to their own. I yeah. guess people just like that. What about a hot take? Do you have a hot take? A hot take. Do you have one? I can't think of one at the moment. I have the most basic ones, Go you ahead. know? Like, I don't like chocolate. Okay. And every time I tell someone that, it's just like, oh my gosh, you don't like chocolate? It's, <laughs> it's not even like, that deep. Like, I used to be like, I used to hate chocolate. Yeah. But now I like only dark chocolate. That's the only chocolate I will I eat. I hate dark chocolate. I love dark chocolate. Plus, it's good for your heart. So. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. So That's very true. A little bit of hard, uh, black, dark, dark, dark chocolate. chocolate is good for your soul. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so, yeah. Yeah, me too. Like, I'd be going around, people and like, oh, do you like chocolate? I'm like, nope. What? But I eat dark chocolate? Ew. I'm like, okay. <laughs> sure. At least I still munch on something. Yeah. But, yeah, it's, it's a preference. It's, you either hate or don't like it. Biggest red flag to me, I just thought of it right now, um, diet culture. If anyone is doing, like, a keto diet or a diet like that, it's just to me if they're somewhat educated and they're like oh i'm doing this for me i'm doing this because it's healthy for me and i like it it makes me happy Mm -hmm. fine if you're doing it's like oh it's to be healthy it's to lose weight it's to um but if you know that tone where it's like oh it's to be better than you 
Mm. There's some people that have that tone. There's like, oh, you're eating um, a chocolate bar. I'm eating this organic something something. Ah, almonds. <laughs> yeah. Just, you know, the almond mom type mm-hmm. shit. Um, that's, I hate that. Because just let people eat. Mm-hmm. Let people be. Some people don't want to live as long as you do. So just let them be happy and die. Yeah, speaking of showing off, I think a oh, hot, hot flag. Wow. <laughs> hot, <laughs> hot flag. A red flag is not being humble. Oh, yeah. When I tell you in my lifetime, I haven't had a very, very long life. I'm still in my prime. But I've met people that love showing off and i'm like you need to stop you yeah. actually need to stop be humble it's not bad to be humble but showing off and telling everyone i did this as i said before i do this i do that it's like no you need to be humble it's yeah. okay i think it's cooler to be even humble than showing off about all your accomplishments yeah i don't know and i i feel also that some people that do do that i understand like it's an insecure they have something going on and it's their way of coping but i'm like you can't yeah. live like this forever there is some levels to it though of course like if you're proud of something and if you say like oh my gosh i did this mm-hmm. i think that's fine it's a way of saying it's it. it's the way of saying it and how often you say it and mm-hmm. if you say like oh my gosh i got this new louis vuitton bag or something louis. unless like if you like sometimes it works so too like oh my gosh i got this new louis vuitton bag like that's cool i just de- it depends on the context where you are exactly. read the room and who you're surrounding yourself yeah. with because if you're surrounded with certain people that you know get insecure easily and you go be boasting around your accomplishments or you know someone really wanted to do it but yeah. you go then i'm like you can't i think that is the rudest thing you can ever yeah. do you have to be humble and if you're boasting accomplishments like your parents or to your siblings or to your friends like best friends mm-hmm. that's fine too yeah it's just being proud and being mm-hmm. happy it's, it's just timing place and just intention moment. yes and intention that counts the most yeah but yeah humbleness i i adore people that are humble i think it's yeah. also a gift it's it is something that doesn't come on its own you learn how to become humble yeah um but for hot takes i say i don't i cannot eat or no i don't like many sorts of pastries if that makes sense like i don't Ooh. like cream pudding uh cake with cream cake with pudding uh what's that called uh flam what like flam cake yeah flam cake mousse um oh i don't like mousse either i don't like mm. puddings either though uh and no marshmallows. marshmallows i hate marzipan marshmallows. Yeah, i love marzipan. marzipan i'm sorry you're, <laughs> you're like you know this reminds me of those you know back then in the 1800s where they're like i got a treat from da 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 and it's like an apple shaped marzipan thing and kids eating it have you seen those shows no well i'll send you a video but it it, it looks disgusting <laughs> And like you guys are selling marzipan, like it depends I love on your life. It's I love marzipan, I love fondant. Oh, fondant, I love it. I love it. I know some people really dislike it and mm. it buttercream or something, but I love it. It's just, I cannot consume it. I feel like it goes down, it comes yeah. back out. <laughs> Let's believe it's not I couldn't eat it every day. Mm. Only special occasions. Yeah, of course, because it's too sweet, but uh uh-uh, uh, not even special occasions. I yeah. Cannot. Yeah. One of my hot takes. What is another hot take? Hot take. The climate is <laughs> it's oh kind of shit. It's a hot take nowadays, is it? I don't even know. You know what is a hot take? Being woke. Ooh, okay. Being woke. I was watching this video and someone was talking about just something, but it was very much, he, this person was aware. And it was like, I don't want to be seen as a woke person or something, but, and then I read the comments and someone was like, to be honest, it sucks that today the word being woke has been turned into something completely negative. negative and that you cannot... Being called woke is an insult at this point. Like, you yeah. cannot call your... People don't call themselves woke because it's an insult. It depends on what type of the world and what type of the internet you're on. But I agree. Now the connotation of woke is just being advanced. To a, per- to a woke... Quote-unquote woke person, it would be to be advanced, to mm-hmm. be better than others because you you're not a racist you're not homophobic you're not this and that um that's what being woke is right now is to be advanced but that's not that's not what i don't think what it started from no definitely not it started just from being aware yeah being aware that like, black people exist i don't mm-hmm. freaking know um being paired at, being aware that homosexual people exist being aware of differences in opinion and i think that's what we have to go back to just 
be aware that it exists. You don't have to accept everything. Mm -hmm. Just be aware and respect. That's the most important part of anything. From what I understood, woke is it's not just being aware that people exist. It's also being aware that certain issues are actually exist. there. For yeah. example, just a very quick one, but deep that like in America, for example, most black neighborhoods are underappreciated as it underfunded yeah on purpose so that they stay that you know things like that yeah very deep topics like oh but then why it's been put into a negative light is because of the woke liberal kid you know who's super woke and super liberal and super political and is into the economic and political world whatever like just super concentrated in that and just they think they know everything so when they go on the internet or speak to anyone you are automatically wrong they are right yeah that's the that's the kind of negative woke that because i've because they seeing. they have they have a higher moral ground yes yeah, so, so they, that means that they're higher in in opinions than you exactly which is not true. yeah so that's why i think woke has been twisted into something bad because there has been a growth of They've always been there, to be fair. They've just been named that because no one else had a, a name. That's why I think there was no name for them. Yeah. So they're like, oh, these people are woke. So now we have that negative light because they're the everywhere. Yeah. And then the people that do want to use the woke, the word woke as a good meaning can't use it because of them, I guess. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, but for example, the, the a very prominent idiot video on the internet that I see a lot of conservatives using but I do think that you can use it in, in more than just like oh look at them look at these black lives matter they're bad no um the video was of like uh, three white women at a black lives matter parade have you seen it and they're like black lives matter woo and they're like in a black neighborhood um and then a, a black woman comes up to them and is like why are you doing this why are you doing this and she keeps saying like I am not oppressed I am not oppressed or something and then she says um that the the Black Lives Matter periods, they never happen in that, uh, black neighborhoods. They always happen in white neighborhoods of America. Mm. Um, and I think that's really interesting. But I wouldn't say... I, that would not lead me to think, oh, Black Lives Matter is bad. Because of course it's not. Mm. It started off as a good thing and it still is a good thing. What's bad is not fully understanding the issue yet pretending to understand the issue. Yeah. Mr. And Mother that's also a red flag to come back on topic. Yeah, but also another thing to be fair, the reason why BLM has been seen in a bad light is because of all the um, controversies that have happened yeah. with the movement and the fundraising. That's just a whole nother thing. So it's, again, also deeper than just yeah. what people see. But yeah. Because it's just, again, when people... A huge red flag is just when people think they know something when they actually don't. And sometimes it's on accident, but sometimes it's just like, you know so little, but you think you know so much. And that can come with arrogancy, and that can come with ignorance. Mm -hmm. And it's just, it. that's why the internet, um, internet movements are so powerful. That's why there's so much hate on hem homosexuality, uh, like homosexuality sexuality right now it's because people who are advocating for it sorry wrong um that's why there's so many so much hate against you know homosexual rights and all that and like the transgender rights for for existing i guess because people are hating on it because of people talking about these topics and supposedly um who are uh what's it called like you know, people who who <laughs> fighters of of something, social um, social justice. No. Yeah, like justice fighters or whatever. Yeah, whatever they're called. Justice about. fighters, whatever. Um, activists. Yeah, social activists. So trans rights activists or homosexuality activists. A lot of these activists. I'm doing quotations, by the way. <laughs> a lot of these activists, they don't know what they're talking about. They just talk random shit. They just do whatever mm -hmm. and they expect themselves don't understand i could say the same thing for climate activists as well I'm, I'm absolutely sorry. i i thought the whole thing with throwing stuff on paintings was so uncool i thought it was so unnecessary and it's i'm like unnecessary. people are gonna hate on you more than just listen to you and i understand that yes the youth should be having the youth 
throwing paint on paintings puts a ba- sheds a bad light on the youth already. We are already not seen as the top tier, you know, kids. We're a minority. Yeah, we are. <laughs> <laughs> We're a minority. No, genuinely, in the if Western like, world, we are a minority. Yeah, well, everywhere we are a minority. And I just think the way people try and present the issue and trying to shed light to is it's the wrong way, I guess. We lose respect. Yeah. The movement loses respect. It's, and we can't get anywhere. Yeah, it's just... We're losing people. We're losing our audiences. Support. Yeah. Yeah. Um, dub, 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 dub. This got very political. <laughs> yeah. Um, and I think it's about time we wrap this up. So... We should wrap this up. Hope Bye. you guys enjoyed this episode. This was the Day Night Podcast with... Yes. And Celine. Bye. Bye-bye.